Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Superman and Lois Season 1. We've got our official first look at the new Superman suit, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, this is official, and this is coming from Canada Graphs. Go follow Canada Graphs on Twitter, follow his blog, and also his Patreon, because this originally came from his Patreon. And so we're going to be talking about his photos where we saw for the first time the Superman and Lois cast out on set in location. Because if you guys didn't know, Superman and Lois have actually built a whole like three block compound. And if you tuned into my live stream the other day, Canada Graphs was actually on the live stream. And he explained why it's pretty damn rare to see them out, you know, in the streets of Vancouver because it's literally like an hour and a half out of Vancouver. And they need to come to Vancouver probably to shoot some city kind of things. If they go back to Metropolis and they want to show Metropolis, they're probably going to go to Vancouver. And so he was able to get photos. I don't know where specifically it was, but somewhere out of that compound because the compound is pretty much tight and you can't get in, right? So that's pretty much the situation with filming and why we won't get that much to do with Superman and Lois. So I was kind of surprised after talking to Canada Cross about this that we saw them out actually on the street and he was able to get photos and I think it's fantastic because I'm really excited for this. So if you guys are Supergirl fans, you're fans of my channel, please be sure to check out all the Superman and Lois videos as the show starts to ramp up to episode 1 because I plan on covering the show week by week and that will be along with the flash up till obviously when supergirl comes out and if superman and lois is still running on of course i'm going to cover it because i think when supergirl goes and it leaves i want to cover superman and lois because i think that is a show for us it is a supergirl spin-off and i'm really looking forward to it so let's go ahead and break down these photos so the first photo on the screen right now is this we get to see superman he's in his cape and he's in his full new suit. Obviously, you can't see that much. It's a bit hazy. I think there is some fog in the background or some mist. Potentially, you know, it's a bit yellowy. And I think the sort of cloud of mist is part of the set. And maybe it's a cool reveal scene. Superman and Supergirl, they tend to do that. They come out of an alley and there's like fog in the background or there's like smoke and steam. And then they come out and they reveal their suits and they rip their shirt off and they become Superman or Supergirl. Something like this potentially could be going on. But what is there to notice with this new suit? So the first thing that popped out to me was the cape. Man, the cape looks amazing. It's pure red. And it's not just because it's red and it stands out. Obviously his old suit cape was red. It was kind of made out of this material that was a bit rigid and never kind of flowed and looked too much like a real kind of cloth cape like Superman's cape normally looks like. And that is exactly what this cape looks like. It looks like it's made out of a different material. Looks like it could flap in the wind and, you know, look really cool when he's flying. That's the main thing that stood out to me. And also the fact that if you look at his shoulders, he actually doesn't have the clip-on cape there. Yeah, before that was part of the way his other suit worked. And his past suit, if you didn't know, was supposed to be temporary. That's why for the show, when he's going to be working, you know, all year round in this superhero costume, Tyler Hecklin needed a new suit. And that was because that last suit was only made to last regular appearances like once a year or something. Now let's go on and move over to the next photo. This is just another version of this. And he is here. He is just, you know, standing there in this sort of superhero stance. And you just get to see a nicer look at the cape. I think you can make out a bit more on this. Multiple photos like that. And I believe the shot from the other take where I talked about it first was actually when he was filming and then this next bit is when he's not filming because you can see the outline of someone else unless he is talking to someone else. I don't know the specifics about them actually filming this scene but it seems like this could be one of the earlier scenes towards you know episode 2 or maybe pushing episode 3. I would say it's probably episode 2 that they're on right here. That's just my calculated guess and what can you make out out of any of these photos? 
if you go on to the next one and this is the one that everyone's talking about because this is the best look at this new suit and that is this one see the superman emblem really vividly it looks a bit different it looks very classical it looks just like normal superman's emblem and i think the way that the suit goes around tyler's body i think tyler's been working out he looks really really built up also the suit looks like it's kind of conforming around his muscles and it looks a bit different from his past suit I also think the color of the blue is different as well, it's kind of a different shade unless it was just because this was shot at night and this photo was taken then. However, apart from that, obviously his cape is not on, they've took off his cape, there is a way of attaching his cape on and off, obviously they need that, but before it was a bit more obvious with his last suit because the sort of clip came round to the front. Now it's more towards, you know, his actual back, so it's more of a cape rather than going all the way over. Also, a big thing to notice is the change in belt. This is actually a proper belt and it's a sort of V shape. It goes down and then up again. And last time, well, in his Supergirl suit, it was just flat. I think the gist of this and the gist of looking at these photos is I think this suit is a lot more detailed. I think the suit is a lot more durable. I think the materials look better. I think the colors look better. And overall, I think it really pops out and I can't wait to see this. His trousers, the same, just the same color as above. He's got the red boots and everything, and I mean, I can't really make out his hair. His hair is probably going to be normal, but yeah, so that is the main things to kind of take out of this. I think it looks amazing, and I can't wait to actually see this when we get to episode one or when we get to the trailers. Probably sometime in December, I would say, we're going to get our first trailer. That is a good guess for around the time, however... It all depends on because they have delayed it to February. Now it's not January. Will they push it to a later date in December or, you know, like an earlier date in January because they're not releasing Superman and Lois episode one till the end of February? We'll just have to wait and see as in regards to promotional materials. But I wanted to talk about one last thing, and this has been a bit of a controversy over on Twitter regarding Superman and Lois and specifically Todd Helbing, the showrunner and the people who are working behind the show. So a writer came out, her name is Nadria. She put out a statement saying this, some personal news. Wednesday I got word that my contract on Superman and Lois won't be extended. My services will no longer be needed. My outline and draft subpar. Obviously I disagree with that last bit lol. This after months of flagging me too jokes and dialogue. Of me defending the Bechdel test. Of me fighting to ensure the only black faces on screen aren't villains. Of me pitching stories for female characters. There's one in the title of the series that went ignored. If I sound bitter, it's because this one stings. I've been assured by my colleagues that I was great in the room, so I know I'm not nuts. So that is her statement, and she is a ex-writer in the writer's room for Superman and Lois. So what she's talking about is she was actually let go of her writing contract at Superman and Lois, and apparently this is aimed towards Todd Helping and the people in charge of the show and the people at the head of the writer's room. Whether we believe what is said here, we believe her colleagues if her writing was good and not subpar as their statement said. This writer has been totally wronged. It would seem like this would be a very big problem behind the scenes as to how Superman and Lois is operating. So this is big news guys and I think you should take it into account. And I think we should as we go forwards. But at the same time, we have to take it with a grain of salt because maybe writing wasn't up to standards. But if that's not the case and her writing was actually up to standards and she was let go because of prejudices by the people running the show, that is terrible and that should not be allowed to happen. I just wanted to flag it up with you guys. I'm not going to debate this too much because I think we should trust her. But at the same time, I'm still very optimistic about the show. And I think a lot of you guys are. So just take it all in and let it marinate and form your own opinions about all of this but anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this superman and lois video hopefully it was informative and hopefully you liked the first look at superman in his new suit remember guys i'm doing live streams week by week a regular thing now i'm calling it the dc tv show we're on episode five i do believe a few days ago we had canada graphs on so go check that out and go check out the one that's going to be coming sometime this week I will announce the date that I'm going to be doing it on in the next few days, so be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, leave a like and a comment and subscribe to help this video out, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye.
icy road.